Hey guys, welcome to this build series. Here I'll be building a 60s F1 inspired open wheel racer. This is a passion project for me. I always did enjoy designing and building things, but never in this level or scale. And I really want to document the process in a very detailed way. I mean, look at them. I can't think of any other mechanical piece of art. I understand there are many forms of art and beauty in machines, but what attracts me the most in these machines is the function dictated the form in a very raw level. To a point where even safety was ignored and these machines were engineered to do one thing well, go fast and win races. I really love such simple designs with the raw mechanical looks, but are put together with a purpose and precision. Anyway, we will make a few changes to the purpose of our build with respect to safety. Coming to the project, I wouldn't call it a replica, as I am not really trying to make it exactly like any specific car, but I want to mimic an entire era of 60s formula look and design. I would call it more of an inspired build. I'll be using my own design to mimic the look, but with parts available to me in my budget. But what I'm not going to compromise is on the build quality and the mechanical function of the design. I obviously can't buy a vintage F1 engine or any such original parts, so I have to go with the best parts I can find and that would possibly justify being in an F1 inspired build category. Anyway, after a month of designing, sorting out the direction I want to go with this build, I finally am at a point where I can start building. While I can figure other parts of the design, I have a holistic idea of the entire project in my head. I just have to spend more time on CAD and engineering individual parts that would go on the build. I wanted a clean slate to explore and a chance to learn and hone my skills. I graduated in mechanical engineering, but education doesn't teach you everything. Not only from a practical standpoint, but also with respect to understanding the concepts in a deeper level. With this project I can experiment and learn and I think it's a great start for all the other projects I have lined up next. Moreover, who doesn't want to own and experience such a car? And I see no other way to do this without building my own. Porsche always fascinated me, especially after falling in love with my G-Body 911. I wanted to use an air-cooled motor for this project, but they are way too expensive nowadays. Moreover, as they are designed to be a rear engine configuration, it would need gearing modification to fit a mid-engine design. But the Boxer is a mid-engine car and its drivetrain can be direct bolt-on for this project. I also considered LS and a few other BMW power plants before I decided I can make it very easy on myself with a Porsche flat 6. And these motors have a very low center of mass, which is key for this project. So in my case, Porsche Boxer drivetrain is a no-brainer. You can check out my other videos where I purchased a flood damaged boxer in Copart for very less and disassembled it. This video is a design overview of the project and I want to go over a few things. First the research. Few designs inspired me, especially the Brabham BT20, the BT24 and the BAC Mono and few other formula cars I found around the internet. A few books also helped me understand these topics from a car build perspective. One of the main sources is Google Images. I have downloaded and studied over 700 photos of vintage as well as modern space frames and suspension setups. So in a way, they are a major part of my research for this build. There are a few design considerations I had to make based on a few limitations. One of them is that the motor is very wide unlike inline or V-type engines. But the great thing with this is that they have a very low center of mass, whereas others are a little top heavy. Overall, the designed chassis is 10 inches wider than the typical open wheel design. So it would give the car a meaty rear end, which I think will look great. I will discuss the chassis design in a more detailed fashion in an upcoming video. One other important design consideration was safety. I want this to be a track monster and if possible street legal at some point. Street legal is not a priority as of now but I might someday if I feel like it. So I want to sacrifice a few pounds of weight savings to make the chassis a lot stiffer and safe. My priority for this build is that it should be a well thought out design 
from engineering standpoint i want to justify calling it a formula 1 inspired build also formula 1 cars are tailor made for the driver and it would only fit similar height and body proportions but i want my design to be more adjustable with respect to height and size at least for up to a few inches second i want to have a well thought out fully adjustable suspension and obviously with no driver aids just a raw driving experience next the looks i wanted to have a simple vintage lines with a touch of raw industrial look that the 60s racers had during my research and design i went through few iterations i experimented with few designs that can work with 60s frame building methodologies but as i went through other generations of 80s and 90s frame building i incorporated design elements from various generations even though formula 1 has moved to monocoque and later to carbon fiber chassis there are other racing divisions that use and still to this day use space frames after multiple iterations now i think i am happy with my current design but if i find anything else that can be done better i would change the design as needed you guys please feel free to voice your opinions or any other suggestions in the comments i am by no means an expert in this and i care more about learning and doing it right few things i want uh, for this motor in this project are itb conversion with uh, velocity stacks and a standalone ecu to be frank i have to do the standalone ecu even to start this motor as the immobilizer from the donor porsche is toast uh, because of the water damage from the flood so it would almost cost the same to replace the ecu and the immobilizer or just go with the new standalone ecu and save a lot of headache with the original wiring harness even though uh, i would have to build my own custom wiring harness it will be a great learning opportunity at some point i want to upgrade to a porsche uh, 911 3.4 liter engine of the same m96 generation and i want to build it into a race engine and turbocharge it but right now i have a 2.7 liter motor The great thing about the current design is any other Porsche motor will fit the chassis with little to no modifications. I just want this build to be a little special with the Porsche flat 6 and not a V8, uh, which is generally common for these kind of projects. And to be frank, it would be wise to do a LS V8, both for easy power and maintenance sake. For this build, I'll be using 4130 chromoly steel tubing, mainly 1.5 inch diameter. I will be using few other diameters and also some rectangular tubing. I will explain more about why I designed the way I designed in a future video. For the body, I want to work with carbon fiber or aluminum. We'll decide it based on the tooling and space requirement. The timeline I have set for this project is 6 to 8 months. I have already purchased welding equipment and other tools for tube bending, notching and cutting. I am currently looking to purchase a lathe and a mill which I would need to complete this project. Finally, I am planning to post videos to cover everything, starting with buying material, building a chassis jig, the tools I'll be using, wiring and programming an ECU, how to design suspension and chassis in CAD, and how to build and set up everything to make this build happen. My aim is to post a video each week. Please feel free to let me know what you guys think of the project and any suggestions are welcome. See you guys in the next one.